hi there in the other video the link to which I provided below I talked about how to add HTML code inside PHP but today I'm going to go a little bit more complicated how to add a PHP code to the HTML code to the code which is in .php file confused well let me explain it to you in very simple terms I will go to the my favorite editor and I will create a PHP file so these are the open and close tags and if I want to add an HTML code to this I will go ahead and add these tags so I will so what I've done here is I have added a closing tag and I have added an opening tag so that means I'm just completing these tags and anything outside that code is not PHP so server will not bother to check it out will not validate it and will not give any error so let us say I add a href equal to let us leave it blank for some time this and put it as this is my link and close the tag now normally we would put a static field something like http uh, colon yahoo.com <coughs> but what if you want to output a variable that you have received from somewhere else into this file so let us say this variable that I'm going to create dollar link equal to http colon this variable was set up in let's say in your project in any other file and you have to output this variable not google.com so if tomorrow if I get this as yahoo.com I should be able to output yahoo.com and not google.com so how do I <coughs> excuse me add this link to the hyperlink so that it takes the value dynamically and not statically like this to do that it's very simple I'll just remove this and since I have to get the variable here which is a PHP variable I have to use PHP tags so I will open a PHP tag and then I will close it and inside that my PHP link will lie as you must be aware that to output this uh, any variable you have to use the keyword called as echo which outputs this uh, uh, statement that comes after echo to the browser so here I'm going to output dollar link and I would put a semicolon to close the statement I would save this file to let us say PHP in HTML and remind you that this is a PHP file not HTML file so what we are doing is as follows this is a PHP file there are PHP tags inside the PHP file there is HTML and inside their HTML file there is once again PHP code because we we are doing this because we are because we want to add a dynamically created variable which may get its value from somewhere or based on certain conditions so we're going to output this and just check it out how it is going to work if I take you to the file here and since this file is located inside the local host installation and inside PHP test folder and the name of the file is we've called it php in html.php run this 
so the the task is to see whether this takes us to google.com or not so it, if you just hover it you can see it is going to google.com click on it yay google.com appears